Oh, bullshit. And secure the container. Stop <sighs> securing the container. Why? Wow, you got a headshot? Like, and he wasn't even aiming down the site. Nice. Wow, he's freaking serious? Nice. Yeah, Blitz, or IQ, rent to pick. Wait, no, it was Blitz. Oh, I'm so useless. I had nine kills? Fuck. Rainbow Six Siege, the good and the bad. Hey guys, it's Beastie, and I wanted to talk about Rainbow Six Siege and my first impressions. First, I think we should all give the devs a lot of love because they have already come out with several patches, and from what I've seen, they've been really transparent and open with the community. Uh, yes, it did, and well, still does have a list of problems that need to be fixed and easy upgrades to be added into the game, but I think it's really nice to see the patches and updates right out the gate compared to Broken Field 4. Also, the fact that all the content is free other than the skins is awesome, and what more games really need to start doing. Battlefield is a prime example of how not to do it. You know, battle packs and the expensive DLC that really spread the community thin, so I'm happy with what I've seen so far. Okay, now that I've got that off my chest, I thought I would just go over a few aspects of this game that I love and a few that I dislike or, you know, just need improving. The variety of operators you can choose from is great to see and they obviously put a lot of thought into it because for the most part I think all the operators are pretty balanced and if not, usually a good team can overcome the unba unbalanced. It's interesting to learn how the operators work best together and you can really create some good combos and setups on defense. The second one I wanted to go over was the map designs, and they really are so good, and it's really nice to see because a lot of games really kind of come short on the map design. And I really like all of the ones pretty much in Rainbow Six, other than a couple uh, that I'm not a huge fan of right now, but I think that's only because I, I just don't have a good grasp of the layout yet. The destruction and how you can use it to surprise enemies and play mind tricks is so good. The amount of ways to enter each building and how to attack and defend is pretty much endless. Uh, but I'm sure once people know the best spots and setups, that will start to change. Uh, but I do think that uh, it won't really be a negative. It will just make the strategies and teamwork even better. The first thing I noticed was the sound. In Battlefield and CSGO, listening to footsteps is a lot easier. Though I do know it's a lot less complicated since there are more things that make noise in Rainbow Six Siege, you know, such as uh, the broken wood on the floor and all that kind of stuff. There's little things that just make a lot of noise. My friends and I have had some troubles with the sound of where the enemies are because, you know, sometimes it just sounds like they're above you, but they're actually right beside you. And uh, that have, that's got us, you know, a little frustrated every now and then, but... I'm sure I just have to get used to it, just like some the other things, like the map design, and uh, just learn how it works, but I think it could be a little bit more crisp. And the second thing that I think needs improving uh, and quickly is the anti-cheat. You know, I just got back from my trip, so obviously I don't know much about the anti-cheat and the amount of cheaters and hackers, or whatever you want to call them, that have been in the game. Uh, but all my teammates have been telling me that there are a lot of them. And um, Ubisoft just really needs to implement better anti-cheat because obviously it's it's not working. Uh, also, the fact that they only have three, or they only had three day bans uh, or something before and just change it to permanent was pretty funny to me because I think that's a little ridiculous that there's only a three day, ba three day ban. But, you know, whatever. They change it or they're going to change it, so that's good to hear. Other than those, I love the game and I haven't had any major issues. It's really fun with randoms, you know, even with randoms, but I would highly suggest playing with friends because it's just way better when you can communicate easily and just work together um, just a lot more efficiently. Uh, this is a team game and individual skill, you know, kind of, it does matter, you know, you need good aim and all that kind of stuff, but I think compared to games like CSGO where, you know, having good aim and stuff is really key. Um, it, it comes down to a lot more how your team works and the mechanics of each uh, operator and all that kind of stuff. So have you guys played it yet? If yes, what do you think? And if you haven't bought it yet or you just don't even think you're going to from what you've seen so far, uh, what are the reasons why you're not going to get it? Tell me about it in the comment section down below. And likes are always appreciated, guys. Love you. I'm out of here. See you in the next video. He's in the hostage, eh? He's... <laughs> Oh, 
could have moved so many times. What a gang. Our first victory as a team. That's all. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Oh, no. I, 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 I only lost with Christian like once. And we've been playing for like three hours. Oh, you carry the shit out of us. I just fucking do that shit. Wow, 11 kills. GG. That's twice where someone has said, you carried the fucking shit out of us. <laughs>